<laughs> so I guess what would be the main thing, your journey towards Mono.com and using it as project management is what were the issues that you were facing as a company before that, like if planning an event, how much goes Yeah, <laughs> uh, so I guess I came from a very interesting um, point into event concepts. So when I was working in uh, theatre, it was a very sort of multi-stakeholder environment. It was very fast paced, very creative, um, which gave me sort of a load of skills. And it's sort of quite a Wild West environment, I suppose, um, in that you always have, um, uh, very similar to the events we do every a project you work on is very different. It has a different set of um, parameters, a different set of stakeholders um, who all want something different from you. Uh, when I arrived at Event Concept, it was a very similar place. It was a bit, uh, it was a bit Wild West, um, mainly through sort of you know, gentle, organic growth and never sort of a focus on what our processes were, what our core service offering was as a business and so on. So Event Concept's been around for about 30 years. Um, we started as a lighting company, so a single service offering. We uh, brought in an audio department, a video department, a, uh, a scenic construction workshop. We brought in a florist at one point, and we've grown and grown and grown and grown, sort of over 30 years very organically around the needs of our uh, customers. Kind of with the USP that we're a single point uh, stop for um, the projects we deliver. That meant that the scope that we undertake on our clients' projects is uh, ever-expanding. It's also different from a job-to-job -job basis because we obviously don't provide the entire range of our services on every project. Um, and it means that you have a very, very broad range of departments all working to a single goal, but all have very, very different needs in terms of a process flow and a sort of, from a sales order process. It's very hard to make them gel and combine. Um, so when I started, for example, um, there was <laughs> the system for a, someone in client services and account management to uh, request a quotation from a lighting specialist, for example. Uh, there was actually an inbox, literally physical paper inbox, uh, attached to a wall, um, and uh, which <laughs> was a bit of a shock when I walked in. Um, so a lot of what we've done over the past uh, sort of five years since I've been looking at this is uh, really trying to hone in on how we can keep the essence of what we are, which is a very creative, very agile, very sort of vibrant business, and without tampering that at all, put some kind of overlay across the top that keeps us in check, keeps us compliant, keeps a level of data quality across everything we do. Um, and makes people's lives easier, which is quite hard sometimes to pitch to internal stakeholders. So that, that's actually what you're trying to do when you sort of give them a new system or a new process to work from. Um, but it has been quite successful. It has allowed us to actually, over the last sort of three or four years, really accelerate our growth and it's been quite efficient and successful. Good. I mean, that's what we want to hear. I think you've mentioned there that Monday has allowed you to be agile and compliant. I think it would be good if we touched on that and see some of the specifics about how you've managed to achieve that in monday.com. Um, yeah, sure. So if I sort of touch back to what I said, which is how one of the um, pain points we had was the very, very sort of broad variance in um, process flows across departments in order to sort of, as part of our master sales process. Um, so for example, what we, what Monday has allowed us to do one side of the things is effectively create a really, really clear information flow between departments. It's someone actually internally the other day really accurately referred to it as a single point of truth across the business, which I'd never thought of before, but was very interesting because we live in a world because of the variance in sort of processes that need to be undertaken. We had a real struggle with um, data quality across departments and we had our scenic team, for example, need to use a certain set of software. Our sales team has a CRM, which I apologize, is not sugar. Um, and the, you know, our finance team have processes, our lighting department have processes, our event management um, department have processes. What Monday's enabled us to do is to actually, because it's so flexible, has allowed us to use it as a single point of truth for a job, a project flow through the company, but in a very flexible way, whereby 
We have integrations, for example, so that as soon as a project is created in our CRM, it's logged in Monday, that live updates, it syncs, um, and that acts there. Everyone then has access to that and can build on that in, our, in their own way. Our ops department then have integrations with a health and safety software, for example, that we use. That pulls information then back out on Monday. So it reduces a level of data entry, first of all, and reduces a lot of manual data entry because once it's done once, we have a record that we can draw from. And it um, lets people interact with that data in the way that they need to do their job most efficiently. Um, so if, for example, a project manager working in our video department has completed a schematic in uh, an external piece of software, um, they don't have to sort of log that that's done. We have an integration. That means that it's logged against that master record of the job that that's been completed. That then leads to a level of visibility um, because a lot of the struggle that we found when I arrived was that we were very siloed. And we're very siloed for very good reason because we work in a model where the broad logic is that we have you know, very, very, very um, discipline-specific experts. Um, but that leads to, which we need to have, but that leads to a scenario where they aren't, there's a, there is a lack of visibility across the project. And that stops people from really doing their job to the best ability. But we don't want people to have to go and hunt for information. We don't want it to be this sort of centralized project manager's job to you know, constantly be broadcasting that information. So Monday allows us to um, kind of automate that process. We use, for those that have heard it here, we use a sort of a methodology called RACI behind information, so uh, which is responsible, accountable, um, consulted and informed. And so we use one of the sort of fields within Monday as a people column automate against people columns and you can template jobs and I'm tangenting now but bear with so for example you can have uh, an automatically assigned accountable person for a task which might be a head of department um, they can be notified if it's due date is missed automatically um, you can have a column of people that are tagged as informed um, who if the due date of something changes or the parameters of something changes if Sub items within Monday, so a nesting of um, tasks or information is added, adapted, they can be notified of that. Um, and it lets people work in a much more independent way. It's been absolutely instrumental in keeping our sort of process going in a hybrid way of working um, without that being a cumbersome process for a human.